Well, how do you do, failers? I wanted to uh, make this video here uh, with my good camera instead of with my GoPro uh, when I take the bike out for the first ride here soon. Um, if you're not a fellow subscriber, subscriber, please subscribe, smash the like button, and uh, share this video and my hunting videos and stuff with your uh, fellow Conrads. All right, so recently i uh, been watching the weather pretty closely and I took off my studded tires. So uh, I did some small changes here over the weekend uh, just to give the bike a little bit of an uplift. I currently have exactly 56 hours on my bike uh, on STX 300. And so I took off the uh, my studded tires and I installed a Shinko uh, is it D216 my camera focus here 216 MX uh, fat tire it is a 90 uh, 21 and then on the rear you guys can see this really funky tread pattern. This is a Sedona. Um, H or MX. I think it's MX. Uh, yeah, MX 907 HP. And this tire was highly recommended by Jeff Slavens. Race or Jeff Slavens. Uh, he's very well known guy in the enduro world um so i did that for starters and then having 56 hours on the bike uh and riding at aoaa and coal country there is a lot of water and coal dust so i ripped the bike down and i'm gonna throw in some pictures here for you i i uh greased or i took out the swing arm and cleaned and re-greased uh, the swing arm bearings going through the the back of the case or back of the motor there the tranny and then took out the linkage and um, cleaned that real good uh, the needle bearings them things are a pain in the butt if you guys ever took out your linkage bearings uh, clean them re-greased them and then put everything back together so then I went forward to the front of the bike and cleaned the steering uh, steering stem bearings. Uh, they were actually pretty clean. Not too much water and debris and stuff gets gets up in there. Uh, I'd stay away with a pressure washer. I don't get real close. So after that, I decided, well, <laughs> might as well change the oil in my suspension. So I went to the back of the bike and then I ripped out the back shock and these WP shocks come with a uh, piston uh, style shock in the reservoir here. I installed for easier maintenance and just overall uh, performance, I installed a race tech bladder kit. So I am super pumped about that. Um, I just got the shock uh, recharged with nitrogen. Of course, I do not have that. So, uh, didn't take it for a ride yet. I literally just put the bike back together. I uh, took out the front forks and drained the oil and freshened the oil up on the front forks. So, the bike is ready to, ready to ride. Uh, Right now we have a lot of wet weather uh, and for the winter time in PA here. Uh, it's extremely warm instead of having lots of snow. Um, but I'm looking to get out here real soon. Um, but I just wanted to get this video out for you guys. A little better footage and whatnot. Oh, I also noticed when I took off my, or just taking off my wheels and tires and stuff, my, uh, seal bearings in my back wheel from all that coal dust and, and everything is like grit it literally ate my 
the seal uh, that goes on the outer art the outer part of your hub to your bearings and uh, I pop them out refreshing them up with tusk uh, seals they're pretty cheap from Rocky Mountain ATV and then they uh, released on a YouTube channel that they have uh, uh, these new spacers but they cover the hub if you guys can see that probably not but they uh, they cover the hub so no more dirt and stuff getting in there as easy so all right fellers well uh, until our next video I appreciate everybody I finally hit 201 subscribers we're so close we're getting there to a thousand and then I can go live uh, when I'm riding and sitting in a tree all right fellers until next time yee yee